Hello and welcome to Essence of Knowledge Satsang. This group is for those who are doing the Essence of Knowledge or the Path of Knowledge program, online program. And this meeting is for clearing your doubts, answering your questions. Few questions from Jarna. Number one, what is the phenomena in nature? The word phenomena means that which is apparent that which is appearing this is the definition of this word and the word nomina means the source from which it is appearing so a little bit different terminology but in our terminology phenomena means the experience and nomina means the existence which is the source which is the experiencer also and the meaning of the word nature is also the same sometimes we say the physical phenomena which means whatever can be seen in the physical world but there are other kinds of experiences also like the mental bodily internal all these different kinds of experiences are there so we have one word for it that is the experience or the illusion same thing when it is appearing as physical will be called nature and in western philosophy it will be called phenomena Number two, what is the nature of existence? The nature of existence is emptiness. Emptiness means there is no material there, there is no substance. It is not made up of anything at all. Not matter, not mind, not vibration, nothing at all. Nothing is seen. The essence of the existence is the experiencer because that is the only thing that is unchanging in existence. Here the word nature means essence actually, not mother nature or anything. So when we talk about the true nature, it means the essence, what it is. So the nature of existence here can be called as the experiencer because it is not changing what it is made up of and again you will find emptiness. Since we say that existence is the experiencer only and experiencer is the existence only, then the nature of both these things they come out to be emptiness but this emptiness is not nothing it is not absence it is presence but presence of what illusory forms and the nature of the illusory forms is also emptiness because they are forms of the emptiness they are forms of the same existence which whose nature is emptiness so the emptiness is appearing as many many forms in finite countless forms and they are changing so this is the essential knowledge actually this is the only knowledge that there is nothing else except an emptiness with infinite potential to appear as anything and what witnesses these appearances same one same emptiness so whatever exists is emptiness and whatever is experiencing is also the same existence the same presence is present as illusions and it is witnessing it. There is nothing more. This is the final knowledge. There is nothing more to say also. And some people will say, I am the experiencer, I am the existence, I am the Brahman. They are only poetic things. False again. Because that is the level of duality. Dualism and the existence or the emptiness is non-dual. Nothing should be said about it. So this is the final truth. If we say even one word, I am this, I am that, the body is this and mind is that. It is all some concepts, thoughts only. What is, is simply is there. And when we say it is like this since eternity, it will remain like this. and It will change, it will grow, it will evolve. They are even more concepts. So we can go down from the existence. We, there is nothing up from here. Down means down in the illusion. So we break it into two first, which is the duality. Then we break the experience into many kinds of experiences. And then something can be said. This, that is all false, imaginary things. So nothing is said, nothing is known. The knowledge is some kind of purification that we remove whatever we said falsely. Whatever we simply assumed, removal of it is called knowledge. Number three, why existence form? First, nothing is formed. It is all illusion. And uh, there is no reason 
This is uh, very clearly explained in uh, basic analysis of the existence. There is no reason for anything in the existence. The reason is just like I said, concept in the mind. We can see the reason of an event, something happened and we want to know the reason. And we can find another illusion which can give you the reason, no problem at all. But this tendency to find a reason, if you apply it to the existence, which is nothing but emptiness, what will you find? The answer is nothing. Because if you find something, it will be a part of the existence. It won't be something which is beyond the existence, which is outside the existence, which is the reason for this existence. So it will be some kind of experience or something, another illusion. So it is a part of the existence because existence is appearing as illusion. Now there can be one more meaning of this question. Why is there existence? Probably people want to know the purpose of it. That means for what? Why was it created like some people say? And just like I said, no purpose, no meaning, no reason, no cause. It is non-causal. Because all these words, they apply to your day-to-day -day events, which are completely illusions. And these words are also totally false. They mean nothing. So there is no reason and there is no purpose and there is no meaning. It is all totally, completely empty. And we say that the existence is very pure, because it has nothing. So it is pure. It is what it is. Suppose there is a purpose for it, some XYZ purpose. You can assume like this and see what happens. Now, what about some other purpose now? Suppose its, its purpose is to be happy. Now, what about uh, another purpose, like to learn? Or what about another purpose to have adventures or to dream? Now you will see all these purposes are absent from their existence because you have given it one purpose. You found one purpose, then all the other infinite purposes are absent. That means it does not have infinite potential. That means it is not empty, it is something now. But what is our direct experience? That it is infinite. It is. It has all the potential. All the possibilities are already present. So all the purposes are already present in the existence. You can see it like this. For example, one purpose is manifesting as your life, another purpose as somebody else's life, another purpose as, as a tree or as a rock, as a sun, moon, whatever. So there are infinite purposes which are inside the existence. That is why we call it complete, whole, perfect, because nothing is missing there. But you cannot assign one purpose to it because then that will exclude all other infinite purposes. So human mind is very small. Human intelligence is very, very limited. Just like a human being has a very limited purpose, eating, sleeping, um, enjoying and so on, working and so on. Very tiny life. So this little intellect, it wants to project this limitedness onto something which is totally unlimited infinite, endless. It is not even possible. So as you gain knowledge, you will come to know what this existence is. It is not an object. It is not a thing which can have a purpose. Secondly, it is infinite, complete potential. So it has infinite purposes, not one purpose. Same about cause, same about meaning, same about anything that you imagine. It already has it but it is not that which you want it to be. So that is the ignorance. People think all these things have purposes, meanings. Somebody tell me. But no, this little creature has some purpose, little bit. Ultimately it dies and disappears because it is an illusion, changing phenomena. So it disappears. So ultimately it also has no purpose, no meaning, no reason, nothing. Appears, disappears, appears, disappears. It is like a play. So what is the purpose of playing? Nothing is achieved. You become nothing. There is just entertainment. So some people will say this is a play. Play is happening in the existence. It is appearing as many many forms, many many creatures. And then they disappear. It's like a play. Nothing is actually gained. And because it is an illusion, nothing actually happens. Like a dream. When you dream, you can have any purpose there. Lots of people can be created in the dream. You can build a house. You can build the whole city. 
But when you wake up, nothing was done. So emptiness to dream, dream to emptiness. So those who are ignorant, they will be terrified because why there is no purpose now? Why am I alive? So to pacify this creature, human being, some purpose is given. Something is given to it. You can, you are free to take any purpose you want. Whatever makes you happy is your purpose. But do not project it onto something which is infinite. In the existence, there is happiness, sadness and everything. All colors are there. So what, what purpose this creature has to become happy and free? Happiness and freedom. This thing is given. And you will see that people do nothing else. They want only these two things. Happiness and freedom. Whatever they do, their goal is like this. But the whole existence has no goal. It is already happy. It is already free. It is already bliss. It has everything already. And it has nothing in reality. It is simply the witness of all this. This drama. Play. Okay, we have a question from uh, Jarna. We know that existence is timeless. So from where experiencer created? So experiencer is the existence. It is, they are not separate things. Whatever is experiencing all the experiences is nothing but existence. Not the individual, not the human being. So this is uh, very nicely explained in the program also. So go through those lessons first. If it is assumed that the experiencer is something else, another object that was created, then it will become an experience of some kind. Because it is, it was not there, now it arrived and it was witnessed like this. So it is some kind of object, some kind of experience. But the experiencer is the existence. It is eternally present. And the time is simply illusion which happens. So I am never born. This is the meaning that this experiencer was never created. Something which was not created will not be destroyed. This is the logic. So I am, I never die. This is the conclusion. Because it is the existence, it will never come, it will never go. The whole is me. It is the existence which is completely empty. And these bodies, the feelings, the thoughts, they are simply appearances in this emptiness. It cannot be described by something else. All we can say, it, it is the whole thing. It is the whole existence, which appears to itself in many, many forms. So it cannot be described by one of its forms. We can only say that it is not this form, not that form, not like this, not like that. Or we, you can say the essence of the existence is the experiencer, to which all the experiences appear is the experiencer. It is the definition. One more question. If experiencer is the closest to existence, then why most pure form of the existence? Then why people are involved in evil works? No, it is not closest. It is existence itself. They are not two things. One, not two, non-dual. The non-dual existence is both experience and the experiencer. So, experiencer must be known, which means me, myself. Self-knowledge is necessary. Who am I? You need to know this. Otherwise, all these questions will be there. Because experiencer is not understood. That is why you are assuming that it is something which is found in existence. It is closest to the existence. No, no, no. There is nothing else here except the experiencer. It is the whole existence. And there is nothing in the existence. It is empty except a dream like experience. There are no people also. They are all illusions. Just like this person called Jarna. It is totally an illusion. So is there any evil action or is there any good action? No, they are all illusions. There is no action at, at all. Nothing is actually happening. So you will need to first take the basic knowledge. Try to verify your basic knowledge. Who am I? What is this existence? And is experience related to people? Or are these people simply illusion? Is there anything good or bad? All these things are labels of the mind on illusory events. Whatever is good for the creature, it says it is good. Whatever is not good for the creature, it says it is bad. Not only the creature is illusion, whatever it thinks is also illusion. It's all concepts are simply illusions. Okay, next question. Bliss is emptiness and emptiness is bliss. Why bliss is described in negative, not zero? It is because the nature of the experiencer is bliss. And the essence of the experiencer is immaterial or empty. Empty means there is nothing there. 
no material no quality no heat no cold nothing at all no thought no emotion that is why it is called emptiness and what is this nature bliss means absence of all suffering absence absence of all desires and so on that cause suffering so emptiness and bliss are the name of same thing which is the experiencer and which is me i am the experiencer so i am bliss and i am empty without any qualities without any material without any substance and this is the whole existence it is like this the whole existence is empty the whole existence is bliss so these two are names of the experiencer bliss is the name of the experiencer emptiness is the name of the experiencer these names are pointing to how it is description of the experience so bliss is not negative it is bliss because it is empty otherwise there would be some activity and then it won't remain bliss it is completely empty that is why it is completely blissful nothing is happening there and whatever appears to happen is not the essential part it is like a dream shivam has a question that uh, if there is so much suffering in survival why should one choose survival over death so first thing to know is that death is an illusion only the body disappears there is no choice there is infinite eternal experience and there is infinite eternal experiencer everything else is our ignorance our beliefs that there is a person there is survival there is suffering there is death there is birth all these things are our ignorance only what is life a very limited experience in simple words you can say it is like a small dream and whatever happens in the dream is also false there is nobody who is choosing there is no choice here because there is nobody to choose the experience is simply happens in finite series of dreams and the experience are simply witnesses nobody is there to decide nobody is there to start or stop anything it is impersonal existence why are these questions coming because you think there is something called life because you think this human being is real and you think there is a death where everything will disappear so what is practical here is to find out what is happening what do you call as life and you will see these are illusory experiences find out what is human being and you will see it is a dream character its happiness suffering everything is part of dream actually nothing is happening nobody is suffering and find out who you are you are the experiencer who has no happiness no suffering it is pure bliss and peace so knowing yourself is the key that will answer all questions that will destroy all the ignorance you do not die the dream characters they appear and disappear nothing goes away so the key is to know the key is knowledge and then these questions will disappear the practical thing to do is find out why there is suffering and remove it and then everything that is happening is perfect as it is why is there suffering because of ignorance what ignorance who you are know who you are how to know who you are path of knowledge who will show me your guru how will the guru show you follow the instructions listen think about it contemplate verify using direct experience and your own intelligence this is the full answer harish is asking would it be fair to describe the purpose of the rule bound dream waking state to propel the limited consciousness to find its nature and be a jeevan mukta see we do not use the word consciousness it is meaningless what is the meaning of consciousness if you are following a particular program particular path always use the words that are given in that path our words are existence experience experiencer awareness this is your vocabulary so nobody is being propelled to any any place there is no purpose in the existence this is knowledge and it is an assumption that something is happening 
because of the dream that is happening because it is the purpose there you are already unbound remember this thing and the puppets that you see around you call humans and whatever creatures they are not there they are illusory so any purpose that you assign there will be illusory just like in your dream you are travelling from one city to another and your purpose is to do some shopping in that dream city when you wake up all your actions all the cities all the shopping on and your purpose was all illusion so first thing purity of words second fundamental knowledge and then give up the notions do not form beliefs do not assume anything more than that which is your knowledge that will help you to stay in awareness remember you are already liberated that which is alive is not you that is an illusion it won't remain so no matter how much liberation you want it is waste of time because it's not going to stay so how to become liberated then realize your true nature your true nature is liberated and you have a false nature which need not be liberated now enjoy this bliss of non doing enjoy this clear wisdom free from assumptions purposes and uh, targets there is nothing nothing to do be in awareness which means be in knowledge nothing more needs to be done this is your whole practice in the step number 4 if you fall into some other actions some other thoughts always remember your knowledge which you must have verified by now and if there is any doubt that no this knowledge does not look like truth then the guru is always there that is why we are holding the meetings so that no doubt remains in your mind so always use this opportunity while you are in the program to get your doubts cleared whenever any thought arises in your in your mind it looks like this is like this that is like that always use your knowledge direct experience and logic to verify your thoughts and when you are convinced that no whatever i have thought is the right thing then you can come in satsang and present your doubt otherwise it is all useless mental chit chat and drop the old beliefs old words old terminology it means nothing and if it means nothing it will produce wrong thoughts see how nicely everything is defined in our program there is not nothing called jivan mukta and there is nothing called consciousness or purpose when we handle this question why is there existence that means we are asking for a purpose cause reason and the general direction of the existence and do we find anything no it is already whole and complete that's what we find and what is that existence it is you that is self realization and if these two things are truth for you then in this purified mind nothing should arise will it happen today no that is why practice has been given to stay in knowledge to stay in awareness awareness means be aware of what you have learned of the truth of yourself and then whatever thoughts and old beliefs they come in your mind should be discarded whatever actions that you are habitually doing you should drop them i know you won't be able to do it today like i said if the seeker is very bright he can drop everything today he or she but they don't so we give them some time so it looks like today's questions are over so we'll conclude our meeting today thank you everybody for attending the meeting